Hi, I'm Steve Sandler, the Managing Director of PicoTest, a company that specializes in precision test and measurement equipment. I'm also the founder of AEI Systems, a company that specializes in modeling, analysis, and simulation. I frequently give lectures on power test and measurement issues to engineers in the power semiconductor industry. These are engineers who develop the power ICs and reference designs that will be used to implement power converter solutions at the PC board level. Yet when I mention the topic of power distribution networks or PDNs, I'm frequently met with blank stares. Power IC designers and application engineers are generally not familiar with this aspect of power management, which is concerned mainly with the issues of system level power integrity. This lack of awareness is alarming because PDN performance directly impacts the effectiveness of voltage regulators and DC to DC converters in powering the numerous high-speed logic devices found in modern electronic systems. In order to help their customers successfully implement power conversion solutions at the board level, developers of these power converter ICs and solutions, as well as those who develop point-of-load regulators and VRM modules, need to understand three basic PDN concepts. What's a PDN? Keeping impedance flat and impedance matching is critical. Here in part one of this three-part video series, I'll discuss the first concept. A PDN consists of the power converters, which typically include POLs, VRMs, or linear regulators, decoupling capacitors, and all of the board level and package level interconnects that connect the power converters to the devices being powered. The term power distribution network, or PDN, is usually used to describe the circuits that power CPUs and FPGAs. Given the proliferation of FPGAs in modern system designs, this definition alone would warrant that power designers become familiar with PDN concepts. PDN concepts apply more broadly to many circuits, not just FPGAs and CPUs. PDNs are present even when powering common glue logic, since even these simple circuits contain high-speed CMOS gates that can wreak havoc in a PDN. A poorly designed PDN leads to many system design problems, ranging from circuits that operated with degraded performance to circuits that don't function at all. Examples of degraded performance include circuits where the PDN spreads noise throughout the system, possibly through PC board crosstalk or inadequate regulator PSRR. All of these problems are classified as power integrity issues. Although an engineer who designs a POL or VRM may never have to perform a power integrity analysis on a PDN, which can involve costly 3D simulations, he or she needs to be aware of the impact that their power converter design will have on the customer's PDN. The main aspect of POL or VRM design that will affect PDN performance is the power converter's output impedance. This leads to our discussion of the two other PDN concepts that power designers must be aware of. We'll discuss the PDN concepts keep impedance flat and impedance matching is critical in parts two and three of this video series. If you have any questions about the information presented in this video, please email me at steve at picotest.com. Thank you.